Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of How to Blender series. Today we will be going over the feature called Facets. We will see how they can be used and why are they so useful. So Facets are basically a scoped mode option which means we need to select the object which we want to paint the faces on and go to the sculpt mode. The option is located down here where we have all the other brushes. Clicking on it, you can see I already painted few facets. It will, it will give us a brush that will actually just paint on top of our mesh without altering its geometry. So I can paint like this and you can see now we are painting this orange face. And each facet is a separate mask. It is treated as a separate mask. Unlike the mask brush, for example, let me just switch to my mask brush. You can see this part is black and this part is black. When I invert the mask, this is just an example to show you how it works like. If I want to draw on this part, I can, but I can also simultaneously draw on this part. So, which is not the case with the face sets. Of course, to draw on the face sets, in other words, for the brushes you are using, to know that you want to draw on the facets, you need to first enable a few options. So up here under the auto masking, you want to enable the faces and faces boundaries, which we will talk about later. So when once enabled, you can see I can draw on the green part, but I cannot draw on the orange part the pinkish purple part, nor on the mesh. So I can only affect a certain face set. They work as a separate mask. Let me draw on the pink one, which means I cannot draw on the green bar, orange one, or the other one, which is amazing. It means that you do not need to um, tweak your mask every time you want to tweak a different part of the mesh. In other words, the face sets are basically used to separate parts of the mesh. So you can use them in two ways. Let me show you. Let me hover over this green part. By pressing H, I can hide all the other paths except these facets. Pressing H, it will show everything at once. So I can do this. I can press H here. And that is why we say it separates the parts of the mesh, like this. And now, the face sets boundary. What it does, it makes you unable to paint outside the face sets. Let me disable this real quick to see what I'm talking about. Okay, when we have the face set selected and we paint on it, you can see that I'm also affecting the parts that are outside the face sets. In other words, it has a fall off and affects faces that are like half painted, half not, like in this case. But by enabling the face boundary option and increasing the propagation steps, so the higher the number, the less you're going to be able to affect these faces. For example, you can see here. Now I'm just painting on these faces and you can see it has a fall off. So let me show you the fall off. With this value, the bigger the value, the better the fall off will be. So you can see in the middle, I can paint like this, but the closer I get to the edge, I will have a certain fall off, which is pretty useful in sculpting. And if I, for example, decrease this or otherwise turn it off, you can see I can paint something like this without a fall off. Let me just undo this real quick. Because there are other options which can be used to tweak our face set. One of them is being to continue the painting the current face set you're hovering on. Of course, you want to be in the draw face set brush. Okay? So you can hover over a certain face set, hold control, and you'll be able to continue painting on the face set. Like this. For the same for the other one, you can see here. The other option is to smooth a face set. So again, hover over it and hold shift. You can see it will smooth the edges of it and make it a bit better. We can also smooth this one here. Words, it will make it much more precise. Now, now it looks like something, yes. Just undo that. 
And we also have different interesting options under the face sets tab. It's similar to the mask tab. And there are also some different things. One of them is we can grow our face set with which I will like to use a certain shortcut. So hold control and press W to gradually increase the area of effect the face set has. Or control, hold control, hold alt and press W to just decrease the parts the face set is affecting. It works on any face set. It also works on a mesh because the white part itself is a single face set. It acts like one. So you can see here, I can just do this, or I can just do this. Pretty fancy, right? We also have some other different options. And the one which is pretty interesting is extract a face set. So when I click on this, I get this little teardrop icon. And I can select the face which I want to extract. What that does is basically grabs the area you have painted and makes it into a separate mesh. But instead of destroying the original mesh, it would just duplicate it like this. Which is pretty useful when you're doing clothes. This is why the face sets are useful. You can have face sets, different ones for each part of the clothing. For example, if you want to tuck a shirt into trousers and you do not want to move the trousers, you can do that with the face sets. Okay, let me select the sculpt again. And now we also have the option which is face sets from mask. And it's pretty useful and this is why you also can use the mask brush to complement your face sets workflow. So when I press the face sets from mask, it will create faces from these mask parts. Let me just clear my mask real quick. For alt M is the shortcut. And you can see now I have two faces which share the color ID, which means those are considered a single face set. We also have options like faces from visible, which will clear the faces because this is a visible object. And it will otherwise make everything into a single face set. The other options is the face set from edit mode selection. So as the name implies, we want to go to the edit mode with tab. For example, we can select a certain part of the mesh. Let me just select this part and we can go back to the sculpt mode. And now we will not see anything until we use that options. Face sets, face sets from edit mode selection. We can see it will create a face set based on what we selected in the edit mode. It's pretty useful. But keep in mind when doing this, selecting, for example, vertices or edges like this will not do anything. Let me show you. So, you know, I selected this part here. Face sets, face sets from edit mode selection, it will not do a thing. So you want to at least select a row of face sets. Let's do this, so boot mode, face sets, and you can see now we have our face sets. Let us select the faces from edit mode selection, no, faces from visible to clear our face sets. And some interesting other options, one of them being to randomize colors. For example, if you do not like your color combination like this, go to faces, randomize colors, and for example, it will actually make a difference. Yes, one looks more warlike. Yes, and another option is if you still do not see what you're doing or you have trouble sculpting over the faces, you can just toggle them off and on and make their visibility a bit different. So, under the overlays panel, you have under sculpt, mask, and faces. Enabling this will make your faces visible, disabling it will hide them. You can also here increase or decrease contrast based on what you prefer. So there's a smoothness. And this is basically the everything you need to know about the faces. They are a pretty handy tool, if I may say. And I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Please feel free to share, subscribe, like. It does help me make more videos for you. So I hope 
you enjoyed this and see you in the next episode bye bye